Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm your boy Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, and today I want to talk about how we get moisture out from a monitor, a flat screen monitor. So this definitely sucks. It definitely happens. And uh, there's a way to get the moisture out, but if there's dust, dirt, fungus, bacteria, you know, anything like that that is collected where the water is, like right here, it's right in the middle, uh, that might still be left over. I have a PlayStation, a PSP where uh, I got some marks around the edges. But if everything goes your way, we can definitely get something like this fixed. I'm sure you can see it all up and around here. And this can be uh, for many reasons from being used outside like my PSP was or by leaving it in a garage or a damp basement. Damp basements, you might have a harder time getting this kind of stuff to clear up, but there's definitely different ways you can take care of it. Ultimately, what you want to do is you want to get it into a very dry location. If you're really squeamish, really faint of heart, but you have a dry, warm place you can put it, you can literally just put it out there, and that'll suck a lot of the stuff out of it. Now, it should be said that if you use oil, or if oil has gotten into there, heaven help you, there's not really much else to do but to take it apart. Now, here's a method to do. Definitely do it at your own risk. Watch up here, get a good idea of where those blotches are. I'm gonna do this for a few minutes and we'll see the difference. Okay, so I've been at it for about two minutes now. The monitor goes black when you, ooh, that's hot to the touch. The, the units in the back definitely look like they've gotten a little bit lighter, but I think this is gonna take me a lot of time to do. Once again, the way that we can get rid of this is we just gotta suck the moisture out from within here. And usually the monitor is actually so porous that uh, there's the, the liquid can easily get through. I hear even using the rice trickle work with this, but geez, how much rice do you have and how much rice would you need to put this thing in a bag? Maybe just lay it flat and sprinkle rice on top. That's another method that might work. But ultimately, we just need to get this thing warm. And sometimes just leaving it running, running something, running anything is enough to warm these suckers up and is enough to do uh, whatever we need. Now, I've known people who just deal with this. They just sit there and they deal with it, and after a certain amount of time, it literally just takes care of itself. So this unit seems to be a particularly warm running unit, and as such, it looks like it's automatically losing a little bit of the moisture that's within it. If you put your hand to it after you have it on for a while, you can definitely tell that um, it puts off its own heat. So sometimes I can definitely help you. So I definitely have made some progress with getting this uh, off the screen, but I've been into it for about an hour, and I've had this air dryer on it for, geez, maybe about 45 minutes. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go with a theory that uh, we need to put more air, get more air circulating through it. But you can definitely see when you come in real quick that we're getting patches coming back, patches of the dark. The light is where the water is so next i'm going to put a fan on this thing okay so i've been working on this thing for about 24 hours now i had a fan on it overnight uh blowing into the back i had a i had a hair dryer up here and down here might have helped up here doesn't seem to have helped over here too much some of these are porous and doing that kind of stuff can can uh, can can draw the moisture out but some are not porous and you have to basically warm it up from the behind and then the liquid comes out through the top. But I gotta say, the thing that I think worked the best is I took this out and put it in the sun. It wasn't too hot, wasn't too cold, wasn't too humid, and because of that, I seem to have some luck. And I'm really thinking that if I just leave this in the house, then I think I'm gonna be okay. I think I'm gonna be okay. I'm just gonna put a fan on it again tonight and that should wrap it up. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is, uh, this is definitely a long battle. You're not going to be able to do this. Uh, you're not going to be able to do this in an hour or two. But ultimately, the moral of the story is put it in a dry, warm place. Do it as quick as you can, too, because you don't want to get fungus. You don't want to get anything in there. You don't want to get anything resting in there or anything. That's it for me, folks. Take it easy. Take care of each other.